Hey, what's up guys? Back again for another video. It's me, Joel, from Joel's Lego Journey, and today we have a pretty cool Lego minifig haul. So, all of the figures I'm about to show you came in a $100 Lego lot that I purchased. Uh, there is also a lot of sets in there, but uh, I'm gonna save that for maybe, a, possibly, a different video. But... For now, I'm just going to be kind of going through the figures. So, I've already looked through them ahead of time. But I'm, so, I'm going to show you some of the main highlights and some of the other things. So, let's get started. So, this pile in front of you is a majority of the ones that aren't as interesting, but still pretty cool. Anyways, for our first figure... We have Phase 1 clones. There was a bunch of these in here. I've cleaned up about four of them. Because a lot of them have Sharpie on them. But there's still quite a few with Sharpie on them. Which I will be using an eraser to get rid of the rest of the Sharpie on. Like their helmets and torsos. It's just really time consuming. So I haven't gotten around to it yet. Also, I have... Commander Fox. Uh, his torso is a little yellowed and his helmet's a little, has a little bit of printing like that has kind of worn off over time, but still a really cool, good figure. And then Co Commander Cody is in here too, which is also an amazing figure. An odd thing with this lot is there's a lot of figures that don't have their sets. Like, I also got a Sage Ventures in this lot, which would go with this from the 2008 Republic Gunship, yet I only have the figure set set. So, for Fox and Cody, I need to go on Bricklink and order their gray armor, because that makes them both more valuable if they have their commander armor. Uh, continuing along, these are some of the more valuable ones here, or just more interesting in general, I would have to say. Some of these figures are incomplete, and I will order their parts later uh, down the line. Like, for example, we have... Well, these guys aren't incomplete, I guess. These Tuscan Raiders, I have two of them from... This set with Obi-Wan Kenobi. These figures are all complete. I just need to... Ooh, wrong. I grabbed the wrong thing. These figures are, I think, to be all complete. I just haven't found the rest of the parts yet. Uh, the Tuscan Raiders are pretty yellowed. I don't know if that's picking up well on camera. And then that one's hand is broken. But like I said, I'll just replace those. And then... Obi-Wan's head is a bit chewed up a little bit. I'm hoping that I can complete that set, though. And then another really cool figure is the 2006 Lego Batman Two-Face figure. It's missing its torso and legs, but I have the head and hair. Maybe I'll get the torso and legs one of these days. And then also I have one of those old NBA players. They aren't valuable. I just find them cool. And then if I get the other... Never mind here. Just wait a second. Then I have Nightwing from a polybag. Not a super extensive or rare figure. Just a cool one that was in this collection. That's a nice find. And then we have Rod of the Hut. Sadly, earlier in the year I bought this figure for like $19. So now I have two of him. Hooray. And then I also have a Silka without her legs. But she's also a really good figure. Uh, so I believe the Twilight was in here. I don't know if the set's actually in here. But again, the figures are in here. What happened to the sets? I do not know. Next, I have, like, three of the these older clone sh 
Phase 2 Clone Trooper Helmets. Uh, I have their torsos, I'm pretty sure. Just, again, they have Sharpie on them. And then also, if I pull these out, these are to the 2008 Lego Star Wars. I'm not, I forget the name. It's like the Endor Bunker set, though. Uh, so I'll probably build that up. I don't think this set's in here, but I've gotten some copy of it in the past that I'll find the parts for again. But that just didn't have the figures, so I'll probably part together in Endor. And then, of course, like I was saying earlier, we have uh, Saw Adventures from that gunship. And then some other cool figures. These are actually pretty valuable. This set is incomplete for sure, for sure. But I will find, I will probably order the missing parts and things like that. But these are to the Vampire's Crypt from, what was it, 2003? Uh, probably most well known from Just Too Good because it was one of his favorite sets growing up. So it, I have the gent right here, the hunchback, and the vampire's head. The vampire is the most valuable part of the set if I order, I think, the uh, torso and cape is what I'm missing. I think I have extra hair pieces. And then probably my most exciting part of this lot. So, this is Elsa from the Shanghai Chase set. I need her head, though. And then we also here have Indiana Jones in his tuxedo. And then I have Short Round's torso here. And I also have one of the Shanghai Gangster's torsos. And then things... To like their cars and things like that, parts for those. So I'll eventually find all the parts for that, order some things like I'm, of course, missing Mayfig parts, and then the cloth canopy for one of the cars is 100% missing, I have no doubt about it. And then for my next thing, this I, this I actually ordered batteries for, so this doesn't really count as being 100% complete in this lot. But we have the 2005 Lego Star Wars Anakin with light up lightsaber. So the cape, oh it's a, it's a bummer, where is it? The cape is here, but as you can see, it's another one of those things where people are having problems changing batteries. It is all ripped up which is a huge bummer so i can't get the cape back on uh his head it has some if i remove his hair back on the top of his head doesn't pick up well but there's a little bit of yellowing there and then there's like a slight chip right there on the hilt but if i push down it lights up, which is really cool. Nice, like, $30 figure right there. I will show you the best figure in a few moments. We're just going to show you some of the other cool ones first and get you all hyped up. We have Murloc from Lego Nexo Knights, one of the DK books, I'm pretty sure. Johnny Thunder. Wicket from that Endor Bunker set. Uh, Timmy from Time Cruisers. Leia from the 2011 Lego Stars Millennium Falcon, which is also in this lot. One of these from the TIE Striker, which is also in here. Keep in mind, this was all for $100. The figures alone are worth well over that. And we have, like, Chewbacca. Young Han Solo. And 
just some generic mighty micros figures so those are some other ones and then we have just weird pieces like these that don't really make sense why they're here this is the boga's legs and obi-wan's torso from the 2005 i don't know what the name is but it's the speeder bike and the uh, boga for some reason these are here it's not a huge buyer to me because i already own that set but still wouldn't mind having a second one to sell and then we have some of the magna guards the other one is in here but it's missing its cape i'm sure i have the arms somewhere in my collection i can just find those those are pretty common arms and the weapon is all common stuff it's just this kind of section right here that's hard to find and then yeah there's just some other random parts in here nothing part particularly rare here we have just another one the rock monsters pretty cool this is cool it only came in a few older sets it's a black like swordfish and yeah those are the those are the majority of the things now we're going to slowly take our way up to the rare things. Oh, I also forgot Darth Vader's transformation from 2005 is also in here. So here's Anakin's head. Okay, now let's go into the rare stuff. We have Darth Vader. This is the older version with the more, like, kind of blank face expression. Then we have Han Solo, also an older version, as you can tell from the yellow skin. Okay, these next figures, I'm just not going to hide it, because this will reveal it. Okay, so we have Cloud City, Luke's head. Of course, this isn't the value part, valuable part of him. This is one of the really cheap parts of him, but... It's hinting at what's coming. We have Cloud City, Leia's head, hair, and legs. Also, no torso, which is a very ooh, valuable part of her. And then we also have right here, Cloud City, Lando Calrissian. His head's chewed up. I'll get a new one from Bricklink because those are a fairly cheap piece for the head. As it came in numerous sets. And then I'll go on eBay probably and get like a $5 reproduction cape. Because I think like the cheapest cape for him on Bricklink with that double sided pattern is like 150 used. Which is insane. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Probably the main reason you clicked on this video to start with. We have Cloud City Boba Fett. Wow. Okay, first thing you guys are probably going to notice, arms are missing, which is such a bummer. I don't know. I haven't sorted through the actual parts to the collection. They could be in there. I just picked out the minifigs from the collection. Crossing my fingers, but I doubt it. Then she'll get a torse, a replacement torse on arm serum for probably like, I'll probably end up paying like $240. Big bummer, but it's what I'll have to pay if I want to complete him. The legs are here though, so that's good. Uh, if the legs weren't here, then basically it's just regular Boba Fett. But since the legs are here, the legs sell for about $240, so that's about the value that I would estimate my figure being at. Bit roughed up on the legs at the bottom, like bit tan and scratch, just on the feet. Like, not the rest of the leg. But this is authentic Lego, I can confirm that. And wow.
Wow, wow, wow. Cloud City. Boba Fett. Wow. That's all I can say. It's an amazing figure. And I was just like, oh, I wish you guys could have seen me when I found him. I was just like, what? It, anyways, it was just in, an insane experience. This, just the minifigs from this lot. I hope you all enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see some of the sets built up and just kind of shown off on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Hope to see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.